The Ohio State Buckeyes football team is a collegiate football team that competes as part of the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division I Football Bowl subdivision, representing the Ohio State University in the East Division of the Big Ten Conference. Ohio State has played their home games at Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio since 1922. The Buckeyes are recognized by the university and NCAA as having won eight national championships along with 37 conference championships, three division championships, ten undefeated seasons, and six perfect seasons of having no losses or ties. Football was introduced to the university by George Cole and Alexander S. Lilly in 1890. Ohio State was a football independent from 1890 to 1901 before joining the Ohio Athletic Conference as a charter member in 1902. The Buckeyes won two conference championships while members of the OAC and in 1912 became members of the Big Ten Conference. Ohio State won their first national championship in 1942 under head coach Paul Brown. Following World War II, Ohio State saw sparse success on the football field with three separate coaches and in 1951 hired Woody Hayes to coach the team. Under Hayes, Ohio State won 13 Big Ten championships and five national championships, and had four Rose Bowl wins in eight appearances. Following Hayes' dismissal in 1978, Earl Bruce and later John Cooper coached the team to seven conference championships. Jim Tressel was hired as head coach in 2001 and led Ohio State to its seventh national championship in 2002 with a win in the Fiesta Bowl. Ohio State won seven Big Ten championships under Tressel and appeared in eight bowl championship series games, winning five of them. On November 28, 2011, two-time national championship winning coach and Ohio native Urban Mayer became head coach. Mayer led his team to three division championships in his first three seasons, as well as a school record 24 straight victories, beginning with a perfect 12 0 in 2012. He led OSU to both the Big Ten and national championships in the 2014 season. History equals beginnings equals, in the spring of 1890, George Cole, an undergraduate, persuaded Alexander S. Lilly to coach a football team at The Ohio State University. The Buckeyes' first game, played on May 3, 1890, at Delaware, Ohio, against Ohio Wesleyan University, was a victory. OSU's first home game took place at 2.30 p.m. on November 1, 1890. The Ohio State University played the University of Worcester on this site, which was then called Recreation Park. Just east of historic German village, the park occupied the north side of Schiller between Ebner and Jaeger in what is now Schumacher Place. The weather was perfect, and the crowd cheered loudly. Nonetheless, OSU lost to Worcester, 64 0. Worcester, physically fit for the game, showed OSU that training is critical to winning. Thus, the tradition of training continues. Over the next eight years, under a number of coaches, the team played to a cumulative record of 31 wins, 39 losses, and two ties. The first game against the University of Michigan, in Ann Arbor, was a 34 0 loss in 1897, a year that saw the low point in Buckeye football history with a 1 7 1 record. Jack Ryder was Ohio State's first paid coach, earning $150 per season, and lost his first game against Oberlin College and John Heisman, on October 15, 1892. In 1899 the university hired John Eakstorm to bring professional coaching skills to the program and immediately went undefeated. In 1901, however, center John Sedge Reist was fatally injured in a game and the continuation of football at Ohio State was in serious question. Although the school's athletic board let the team decide its future, Eakstorm resigned. In 1912 football underwent a number of developments that included joining the Western Conference, making football as part of a new department of athletics, and hiring Lynn W. St. John to be athletic director. Sheik Harley attended East High in Columbus and was one of the greatest players to attend an Ohio high school. He passed, ran, received, punted, kicked and played defense. Harley came to Ohio State in 1916 and Columbus fans instantly fell in love with the Sheik. 
Harley and the Buckeyes won the very first Big Ten championship in school history in 1916 when the Buckeyes finished 7 a Euro 0. He would repeat in 1917 finishing 8 a Euro 0 a Euro 1, giving the Buckeyes a second outright title. In 1918, he left to be a pilot in the Air Force for World War I. With Harley's return in 1919, the Buckeyes would only lose one game a Euro to Illinois. Sheik Harley left OSU with a career record of 22 a Euro 1 a Euro 1. At the time, OSU played at the small Ohio field and Harley brought such record crowds it became necessary to open Ohio Stadium in 1922. The stadium was built entirely on fan donations and several stadium drives around the city where Harley would often appear. In 1951, when the College Football Hall of Fame opened, Harley was inducted as an inaugural member. Ohio State's very first rival was Kenyon College, a small liberal arts college in Gambia, roughly 50 miles to the northeast. The Buckeyes first played them in their first season in 1890 on November 27. Kenyon won the first two meetings. However, Ohio State won 15 in a row and the rivalry diminished. Kenyon made it their season goal to defeat OSU. After the Bucks joined the Big Ten, they stopped playing Kenyon. The all time record stands at 18 a Euro 6, OSU. Equals Francis Schmidt equals, in hiring Francis Schmidt in March 1934 to coach its football team, Ohio State moved its program to a big time level of competition. Schmidt was a well established coach and an acknowledged offensive innovator. His offensive schemes were a wide open style called Razzle Dazzle, and led him to be the first Buckeye football coach granted a multi year contract. Schmidt's first four seasons saw victories over arch rival Michigan, all by shutout. The 1935 squad went 7 a Euro 1, its sole loss was to Notre Dame, 18 a Euro 13, in the first contest between the programs. However, Schmidt's remaining seasons were less successful, except in 1939 when the Buckeyes won the Big Ten championship, and his popularity faded for a number of reasons. On December 17, 1940, he resigned. Equals Paul Brown equals, Ohio State hired the coach of Massillon Washington High School football team, Paul Brown, to succeed Schmidt. Brown's Tigers had just won their sixth straight state championship. Brown immediately changed Ohio State's style of offense, planned and organized his program in great detail, and delegated to his assistant coaches using highly structured practices. In 1942, Ohio State lost 22 veteran players to military service as the United States joined World War II, and with a team of mostly sophomores went on to lose only once and winning its first national championship. Equals Carol Widows, Paul Bixler and Louise Fessler equals, Brown accepted a commission in the United States Navy in 1944 and directed his assistant Carol Widows to head the team in his absence. The 1944 team fielded 31 freshmen but went undefeated and untied, including a victory over Paul Brown's Great Lakes Navy team. Ohio State finished second in the national rankings behind Army and Les Horvath became the first Buckeye to be awarded the Heisman Trophy. Also prominent on the 1942 Euro 44 teams was the first Buckeye African American star, Bill Willis. Brown chose not to return to Ohio State after the war going into professional football instead. Widows, despite having the highest two-year winning percentage of any Buckeye coach, asked to return to an assistant's position. Offensive coordinator Paul Bixler and Widows switched positions, and Bixler endured a mediocre for a Euro 3 a Euro 2 season. Bixler resigned and talk of Ohio State being a graveyard of coaches became commonplace, a reputation that lingered for decades. Wies Fessler became head coach in 1947 but finished last in the Big Ten for the only time in team history. Ohio State improved greatly in 1948, winning six and losing three, then in 1949 enjoyed a successful season due to the play of sophomore Vic Janowicz. Ohio State received the Rose Bowl invitation, where they came from behind to defeat California. In 1950 Fessler rumored to be resigning because of pressures associated with the position and abuse of his family by anonymous critics, returned to coach the Buckeyes, 
who won six games in a row to move into the top ranking in the AP poll. However the season fell apart as the Buckeyes lost to Michigan during a blizzard, a game that came to be known as the Snow Bowl. Two weeks later, citing concerns about his health and family, Fessler resigned. Equals Woody Hayes era equals. Wayne Woodrow Woody Hayes beat out Paul Brown, among others, to be named head coach on February 18, 1951. He instituted a demanding practice regimen and was both aggressive and vocal in enforcing it, alienating many players accustomed to Fessler's laid-back style. The 1951 Buckeyes won four, lost three, and tied two, leaving many to question the ability of the new coach. In 1952 the team improved to 6 a Euro 3, and recorded their first victory over Michigan in eight years, but after a 1953 loss to Michigan, critics called for the replacement of Hayes. In 1954 the Buckeyes were picked to finish no higher than 10th in the Big Ten. Hayes, however, had the talents of Howard Hope along Carsady and a historic goal line stand against Michigan propelled Ohio State to a perfect season. Hayes led the powerhouse Buckeyes to a shared national championship. In 1955 the team again won the Big Ten, set an attendance record, and won in Ann Arbor for the first time in 18 years, while Hope along Carsady was securing the Heisman Trophy. Ohio State passed only three times against Michigan, leading to characterization of Hayes' style of offensive play as three yards and a cloud of dust. In a 1955 article in Sports Illustrated, Hayes admitted making small personal loans to financially needy players. The article resulted in a furor over possible violations of NCAA rules, and the Faculty Council, followed by the Big Ten and NCAA, conducted lengthy investigations. Big Ten Commissioner Kenneth Tug Wilson found Hayes and the program guilty of violations and placed it on a year's probation in 1956. In 1957 Ohio State won all of its remaining games after an opening loss to claim the Big Ten Championship, win the Rose Bowl over Oregon, and share a national title with Auburn, for which Hayes was named Coach of the Year. In 1961 the team went undefeated to be named national champions by the FWAA but a growing conflict between academics and athletics over Ohio State's reputation as a football school resulted in a faculty council vote to decline an invitation to the Rose Bowl, resulting in much public protest and debate. Over the next six seasons Ohio State finished no higher than second, and had a losing season in 1966, and public speculation that Hayes would be replaced as coach grew to its highest point since 1953. In 1968 Ohio State defeated the number one ranked Purdue Boilermakers and continued to an undefeated season including a 50-a-Euro 14 route of Michigan and a Rose Bowl victory over the USC Trojans that resulted in the national championship. The class of 1970 became known as the Super Sophomores in 1968 and might have gone on to three consecutive national championships except for what may have been the most bitter loss in Buckeye history. The winning streak reached 22 games as Ohio State traveled to Michigan. The Buckeyes were 17-point favorites but directed by first-year coach Bo Schemichler, Michigan shocked the Buckeyes in a 24-Euro 12 upset. The 1969 loss to Michigan initiated what came to be known as the Ten-Year War, in which the rivalry, which pitted some of us UL Euro unregistered trademark S and Yuma Euro unregistered trademark S strongest teams ever, rose to the uppermost level of all sports in the competition between Schemichler and Hayes became legendary. Four times between 1970 and 1975, Ohio State and Michigan were both ranked in the top five of the AP poll before their matchup. The Wolverines entered every game during those years undefeated and won only once a 10 Euro 7 victory in Ann Arbor on November 20, 1971. Both teams used the annual game as motivation for entire seasons and after the initial win by Michigan, played dead even at four wins and a tie apiece. Hayes had the upper hand during the first part of the war, in which Ohio State won the conference championship and went to the Rose Bowl four straight years, while Michigan won the final three. It was also an era in which through television Ohio State football again came to the forefront of national attention. Hayes set the tone in spring practice in 1970, placing a rug at the entrance to the Buckeye dressing room emblazoned with the words, 
1969 Mitch 24 OSU 12 a Euro 1970 Mitch, OSU, as a constant reminder of their objective. The Super Sophomores, now seniors, used a strong fullback oriented defense to smash their way through the season undefeated, struggling only with Purdue the week before the Michigan game. The return match in Columbus found both teams undefeated and untied, a first in the history of the rivalry, with Michigan ranked fourth and Ohio State fifth. Ohio State combined a powerful defense that held Michigan to only 37 yards rushing, a rushing offense employing two tight ends as blockers, and a 26-yard touchdown pass from Kern to Bruce Jankowski to win 20 a Euro 9. The Buckeyes returned to the Rose Bowl to be upset by Stanford 27 a Euro 17. The Super Sophomores had garnered a record of 27 a Euro 2, the best winning percentage of any three-year period in team history, and won or shared the Big Ten title all three years. The National Football Foundation named Ohio State its national champion for 1970. 1971 was less successful than the preceding seasons, but the middle four years of the ten-year war saw the greatest success for Hayes against Michigan, although the teams fell short of repeating their 1968 national championship. Archie Griffin began his college football career in 1972, taking advantage of new NCAA eligibility rules that allowed freshmen to compete at the varsity level. In his second game, sent in against North Carolina late in the first quarter, Griffin set a new Buckeye rushing record with 239 yards and led the team in rushing for the season with 867. The following season Hayes installed an I-formation attack with Griffin at tailback and fellow sophomore Cornelia Screen at quarterback. The Buckeyes went undefeated with a powerful offense and equally impenetrable defense, achieving an average margin of victory of 31 points a game. The only blemish on their record was a 10 Euro 10 tie with Michigan after both teams had entered the game unbeaten. Despite soundly defeating defending national champion USC, however, the tie with Michigan resulted in the Buckeyes finishing second to Notre Dame in the final AP rankings. Griffin, Randy Gradisha, Van Decree, and John Hicks were named All-Americans. Hicks, an offensive tackle, not only won both the Outland and Lombardy trophies, but placed second in the Heisman Trophy competition. 1974-1975 were seasons of both elation and frustration. The Buckeyes twice more defeated Michigan and went to two Rose Bowls, but lost both. The 1974 team seemed bound for another national championship when it was derailed by a loss to unranked Michigan State and the next year the number one ranked Bucks lost 23 a Euro 10 to 11th ranked UCLA in the 1976 Rose Bowl. In all the Buckeyes were 40 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 from 1972 a Euro 75, winning the Big Ten all four years and never losing to Michigan, but each loss and the tie were crucial in failing to win another championship. Archie Griffin, however, received the Heisman Trophy for both years, offsetting much of the frustration, and amassed 5,589 yards in his career. The fall-off in success of Hayes' last three years was not great. His teams forged records of 9 a Euro 2 a Euro 1, 9 a Euro 3, and 7 a Euro 4 a Euro 1, and made bowl appearances in all three years. However frustrations in losing three straight years to Michigan, and other factors, resulted in growing criticism of Hayes and his methods particularly his on-the-field fits of temper. Even so, his downfall was sudden and shocking when near the end of the nationally televised Gator Bowl, Hayes punched Clemson middle guard Charlie Borman after Borman intercepted a pass to kill Ohio State's last chance to win. Hayes was fired after the game by Ohio State President Harold E. Narsen and Athletic Director Hugh Hindman. Equals L. Bruce equals, Hayes was replaced by a former proto-copyright Gar copyright. Earl Bruce. Bruce inherited a strong team led by sophomore quarterback Arch Lichter but that had also lost 11 starters, and the 1979 squad exceeded pre-season expectations, ending the three-year loss drought against Michigan and going to the Rose Bowl with an opportunity once again to be national champions. The Buckeyes lost both by a single point, 17 a Euro 16, but Bruce was named Coach of the Year. His success was hailed by those in the media who saw it as a rebuke of Hayes and the start of a new era. 
1980, however, saw the start of a trend that eventually brought criticism to Bruce, when Ohio State finished with a 9-0-3 record, the first of six consecutive years at 9-0-3. Though each of these seasons, and the 10-0-3 season that followed them, culminated in a bowl game, Ohio State did not appear to be any closer to a national championship than during the end of the Hayes era. Bruce's teams were not without impact players, however. All Americans and future National Football League stars included Keith Biars, Chris Carter, Chris Spielman, John Frank, Jim Lachey, Tom Tuper, Marcus Meck, and Pepper Johnson. His program was also known for the number of notable assistant coaches on staff, including Jim Tressel, Glenn Mason, Pete Carroll, Nick Saban, Urban Meyer and Dom Capers. The 1980 team was selected as the top-ranked team of the preseason April poll and opened the season with four games at home, but were shocked in the fourth game by UCLA, shut out 17 a Euro zero. The team rebounded to win its next six easily, but then were shut down by a ball-control Michigan team that allowed the Buckeyes only 23 minutes with the ball, then lost again to Penn State in the Fiesta Bowl. In 1981, Ohio State opened strong, including a victory at Stanford in which senior Arch Lichter outdueled John Elway, but then lost back-to-back -back games to Florida State and Wisconsin. The Buckeyes continued to struggle on defense, losing a third time, at Minnesota. Victories over Michigan to gain a share of the Big Ten championship and over Navy in the Liberty Bowl salvaged the season. For the first time since 1922 the Buckeyes lost three in a row in Ohio Stadium in 1982, including rematches with Stanford and Florida State, and for the second year in a row to Wisconsin, but then won seven straight, the last over BYU in the Holiday Bowl. Sophomore running back Keith Biars had a standout season in 1983, rushing for 1,199 yards, and Ohio State defeated the Oklahoma Sooners in Norman, but three losses in conference meant a fourth-place finish. 1984 witnessed what Bruce called the greatest comeback after the worst start, when Ohio State fell behind Illinois 24 a Euro zero at home but roared back on 274 yards rushing and five touchdowns by Biars to win 45 a Euro 38. Ohio State also defeated Michigan to win an outright Big Ten championship. Biars led the nation in rushing and scoring but finished second in Heisman balloting. Biars broke his toe just prior to the start of the 1985 season, ending his Heisman hopes and seriously handicapping the Buckeye attack. He returned against Purdue with Ohio State at 4 a Euro 1 and scored twice, but then re-injured his foot the next week against Minnesota. Iowa was top-ranked nationally when they came into Ohio Stadium favored to end the longest home winning streak in the country and were the first number one team the Buckeyes faced since Purdue in 1968. Ohio State's defense dominated with four interceptions to win 22 a Euro 13. In 1986 Bruce received a three-year contract, the first for the modern program but the team opened with two losses, which had not occurred in over 90 years. The Buckeyes then won nine in a row before Michigan took a close game when kicker Matt France missed a field goal with a minute to play. After the season Bruce was offered the position of head coach at the University of Arizona with a five-year contract but was persuaded to stay at his alma mater by athletic director Rick Bay. Hopes for a standout season in 1987 suffered a serious setback when All-American wide receiver Chris Carter was dropped from the team for signing with an agent. Indiana defeated Ohio State for the first time since 1951, 31 a Euro-10 in a game that came to be known as the darkest day, and Ohio State lost three conference games in a row going into the Michigan game. On the Monday of Michigan week, after a weekend of rumors and speculation, Ohio State President Edward Jennings fired Bruce but tried to keep the dismissal secret until after the end of the season. Bay, who had been instrumental in keeping Bruce at Ohio State, disregarded Jennings' orders and announced the firing and his own resignation in protest. Jennings made his own situation worse by refusing to give a reason for the firing and the circumstances have been the subject of controversy since. The Buckeyes enjoyed an emotional come-from-behind victory over Michigan in Ann Arbor after the entire team wore headbands bearing the word E-A-R-L-E.
then declined an invitation to play in the Sun Bowl. Equals John Cooper equals, John Cooper was hired as the 21st football head coach at Ohio State before the end of 1987 and before he had coached his last game at Arizona State University. Cooper's coaching record at ASU and at Tulsa prior to that stood out among his credentials, as did a victory over Michigan in the 1987 Rose Bowl. Cooper's 13 years as Buckeye head coach are largely remembered in the litany of negative statistics associated with him, a notorious 2 a Euro 10 a Euro 1 record against Michigan, a 3 a Euro 8 record in bowl games, a 5-year losing streak to Illinois to start his term and a 6 a Euro 7 record overall, and blowing a 15-point third quarter lead in a 28 a Euro 24 loss to unranked Michigan State when the Buckeyes were the top-ranked team in the nation and en route to a national championship. However his record also has many positives, back-to-back -back victories over Notre Dame, two finishes second ranked in the polls, and three Big Ten championships. Cooper also recruited 15 players who were first-round draft picks in the National Football League. Both 1988 and 1989 began identically, an impressive season opening win followed by an embarrassing loss to a highly regarded team. A rebound win against two other highly regarded programs followed by a loss to Illinois in the conference opener. However 1988 saw Ohio State lose its first three conference games and a close game at home against Michigan for a 4 a Euro 6 a Euro 1 record, its first losing season in 22 years. In 1989 the Buckeyes won six consecutive Big Ten games before losing its last two to go eight to Euro 4. The most noteworthy victory occurred in Minneapolis when Ohio State overcame a 31 a Euro 0 deficit to Minnesota to win 41 a Euro 37. 1990 continued the pattern with a two win two loss start and an overall 7 a Euro 4 a Euro 1 record that included an embarrassing loss to Air Force in the Liberty Bowl 1991 was 8 a Euro 4. Notable primarily as the season that sophomore running back Robert Smith quit the team. 1992, with senior Kirk Herbstreit at quarterback, and Smith back on the team was 8 a Euro 3 a Euro 1, but the losing string to Michigan was broken with a 13 a Euro 13 tie. Persistent rumors that Cooper would resign or be fired were laid to rest when university president Gordon G. announced he would be back in 1993. The next six seasons were very successful winning ten or more games in five of the six and sharing the conference championship in three. Eddie George won the Heisman Trophy in 1995 after a tremendous senior season, Ohio State defeated Notre Dame in 1995 and 1996, and won half its bowl games. But in three seasons the Buckeyes entered the Michigan game undefeated, with the possibility of a national championship in at least one, and lost all three to underdog Wolverine teams. Ohio State had won 62 games and lost only 12, but a third of those were to Michigan. After renewing his contract and becoming a member of the Million Dollar Coaching Club, Cooper started sophomore Austin Moyerman against the Miami Hurricanes in the nationally televised kickoff classic and was soundly beaten. That presaged a mediocre season in which the Buckeyes finished 6 a Euro 6, ending their successful 90s run. The 2000 team was more successful going 8 a Euro 4, but criticism of Cooper among fans had risen to a clamor again and touched on many areas of the program beyond specific game records. The negative publicity rose to a peak in the days leading up to Ohio State's matchup with South Carolina in the Outback Bowl, when wide receiver Reggie Germany was suspended for having a 0.0 GPA. Team captain Matt Wilhelm publicly criticized fellow player Kenyon Rambo, and one Buckeye lineman sued another. In January 2001, the Ohio State University dismissed Cooper. His loss in the Outback Bowl to a team that had not even won a single game the year before was a factor in his subsequent firing, as was negative publicity regarding player behavior before and during the game. Other contributing factors included the record against Michigan, a reputation of inability to win big games, the lack of a national championship, the perception of him as an outsider by many alumni the poor bowl game record, and finally a perceived lack of discipline on the team. Equals Jim Trestle equals. Ohio State quickly sought a replacement for Cooper and after a nationwide search hired Jim Trestle. 
with four NCAA Division I AA National Championships at Youngstown State University, Trezel, formerly an assistant coach for L. Bruce, was an Oweon who was considered to be appreciative of Buckeye football traditions. Although there were some doubts as to whether or not Trestle could repeat his earlier success at the Division I-A level, most fans and alumni met the coaching change with enthusiasm. On the day of his hiring, Jim Tressel, speaking to fans and students at a Buckeye basketball game, made a prophetic implication that he would lead the Buckeyes to beat Michigan in Ann Arbor the following November. Tressel's first season was difficult as the Buckeyes finished 7 a Euro 5 but he made good on his promise, beating Michigan in Ann Arbor. While its fans were optimistic about the chance for success of the 2002 team, most observers were surprised by Ohio State's national championship. Ohio State used strong defense, ball control play calling, and field position tactics to win numerous close games, a style of play characterized as Trezell Bowl, and disparaged by detractors as the Luckies. The 2006 and 2007 regular seasons ended with just one combined loss in consecutive appearances in the national championship game. The Buckeyes lost both by wide margins. On January 1, 2010, the Buckeyes defeated the Oregon Ducks in the Rose Bowl game by a score of 26 a Euro 17. This ended a three-game BCS losing streak for Ohio State having lost two national championships and one Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Torrell Pryor was named MVP of the contest with two touchdown passes for a career-high 266 passing yards. In addition, he had more total yards than the entire Oregon Ducks team. In December 2010 it was announced that five student-athletes on the Ohio State University football team would be suspended for the first five games of the 2011 season for NCAA violations. The punishment stemmed from an incident when some of the Buckeye players received tattoos for their autographs, according to news reports. Other violations committed by the players included the selling of several items given to them by the university, such as Big Ten championship rings. On January 4, 2011, Ohio State completed its season with a 31 Euro 26 win over Arkansas in the Sugar Bowl. The Sugar Bowl win would have marked Ohio State's first bowl victory over a Southeastern Conference opponent in 10 attempts, but the win was later vacated due to NCAA violations. Ohio State ended up with an 0 Euro 1 record for the 2010 season after vacating its wins for NCAA violations. Tattergate, on December 22, 2010, the NCAA announced that five players would be suspended for the first five games of the 2011 season due to receiving improper benefits. Mike Adams, Dan Boom Heron, Devia Posey, Solomon Thomas, and quarterback Torrell Pryor were found to have signed autographs in return for tattoos, as well as selling memorabilia given to them by the university. In addition, Jordan Whiting was suspended for the season opener for his involvement. The scandal originated at Fine Line Tattoos and Piercings in Columbus whose owner, Edward Reif, was being investigated for felony drug trafficking. On January 4, 2011, with all the players allowed to participate by the NCAA, the Buckeyes defeated the Arkansas Razorbacks in the Sugar Bowl by a margin of 31 Euro 26. The win along with every other one from the 2010 season would later be vacated due to the scandal. The Buckeyes finished the season 0 a Euro 1, with their only official game being a loss to Wisconsin. On March 8, 2011, OSU suspended head coach Jim Tressel for the first two games of the 2011 season and fined him $250,000 for not informing the university and the NCAA that he had knowledge of his players receiving improper benefits. Coach Tressel's suspension would later be increased to five games by the university. On May 30, 2011 Jim Tressel resigned as head coach of the Buckeyes. On June 6, 2011, a story in Sports Illustrated reported that at least 28 players, including Rob Rose, T.J. Downing, Louis Rosari, Chris Vance, C.J. Barnett, Doran Bell, Jamal Berry, Bo Deland, Zach Domican, Storm Klein, Etienne Sabino, John Simon, Nathan Williams, Jamal Hines, Devon Torrance, Donald Washington, Thordeus Gibson, Jermil Martin, Lamar Thomas, 
and Doug Worthington traded team memorabilia or used equipment for tattoos or other merchandise or services between 2002 and 2010. The report alleged that Tressel had violated NCAA by law 10.1 a euro unethical conduct, three times by not acting when told of the tattoo improprieties, by signing a statement saying he knew of no violations, and for withholding information on what was going on from university officials. Equals Luke Fickell equals, on July 8, 2011, Ohio State University decided to vacate all victories from the 2010 football season as self-imposed punishment for major NCAA violations. Former coach Jim Tressel received more than $52,000 from the university and won't have to pay a $250,000 fine for his involvement in the scandal. His status is also changed from resigned to retired in keeping with his wishes to remain a Buckeye for life. Ohio State named Luke Fickell interim head coach for the 2011 season following Tressel's resignation, and Fickell coached the 2011 Buckeyes to a 6 a Euro 7 record. Going 6 a Euro 6 in the regular season and losing in the Gator Bowl to Florida. Equals Urban Mayor equals. On November 28, 2011, Former University of Florida head coach and ESPN college football analyst Urban Mayer accepted the position of Buckeyes head coach. Mayer assumed head coaching responsibilities following the Bukies' January 2012 Gator Bowl appearance. Mayer's first season at Ohio State did not include a postseason contest, as the Buckeyes were sanctioned with a one-year bowl ban on December 20, 2011. The NCAA sanctions also included the loss of three scholarships each year for the following three years and three years probation to end on December 19, 2014. Ohio State was required to vacate all wins from the 2010 season, the 2010 Big Ten Conference Championship and their win in the 2011 Sugar Bowl. The school's share of the Sugar Bowl proceeds were forfeited as well. In Mayer's first year, the Buckeyes went a perfect 12 a Euro zero winning the 2012 Big Ten Leaders Division, though the previously mentioned sanctions kept them from playing in the 2012 Big Ten Football Championship game and a postseason bowl game. The Buckeyes played their 2013 spring game at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, home of the Bengals on April 13, 2013. The Scarlet won 31 a Euro 14. On November 23, 2013, the Buckeyes clinched their second straight Leaders Division Championship, after defeating Indiana 42 a Euro 14. With a victory over Indiana, Ohio State set a team record for all-time consecutive wins, with 23. The following week, Ohio State defeated Michigan 42 a Euro 41 in Ann Arbor, to increase the streak to 24. The streak ended with Ohio State's 34 a Euro 24 loss to Michigan State in the 2013 Big Ten Conference Championship game on December 7, marking Mayer's first loss as the Bukies head coach. On January 3, 2014, the Buckeyes were defeated by Clemson in the Orange Bowl 40 a Euro 35. On November 22, 2014, the Buckeyes clinched the first ever Big Ten East Division Championship when they defeated Indiana 42-27, earning a berth in the 2014 Big Ten Championship game, where they defeated West Division champion Wisconsin 59-0 to win the Big Ten Conference Championship and qualified for the four-team playoff to decide the national champion. OSU defeated Alabama in the Sugar Bowl 42-35, on January 1, 2015 to qualify for the national championship game against Rose Bowl winner Oregon on January 12. OSU claimed the first ever college football playoff national championship by defeating Oregon 42-20. Home venues, Recreation Park, Ohio Field, Ohio Stadium. Traditions, Ohio State football is rich in traditions. The following are football traditions in chronological order of longevity, senior tackle, Begun in 1913 by head coach John Wiljay, seniors on the team are recognized at the last practice of the season either before the Michigan game or before departing Columbus to play in a bowl game, and hit the blocking sled a final time. Ellibuck The winner of the Ohio State-Illinois game has been awarded the Ellibuck Trophy since 1925. Until 1927 the teams played for a live turtle, however, 
since the 1928 season the trophy is a carved wooden likeness of a turtle. Gold pants, a gold miniature charm depicting a pair of football pants is given to all players and coaches following a victory over the Michigan Wolverines. The tradition began as the result of a comment to reporters by the newly hired head coach Francis Schmidt on March 2, 1934, how about Michigan? They put their pants on one leg at a time, the same as we do. The first gold pants, which were a creation of Simon Lazarus and Herbert Levy, were awarded that year for a 34-0 defeat of the Wolverines. Captain's Breakfast 1934 also saw the first gathering of former team captains for breakfast on the Sunday following the homecoming game. The event began when local businessman Walter Jeffrey invited 20 former captains to the Seto Country Club to honor them, and continues to welcome new captains and award the mugs bearing their names and season. Buckeye Grove, begun in 1934, each player who wins first team All-America honors is recognized by the planting of a Buckeye tree and installation of a plaque in Buckeye Grove, now located near the southwestern corner of Ohio Stadium next to Morrill Tower. Trees are planted in ceremonies held prior to the spring game. All 126 Buckeye All-Americans dating back to 1914 have been so honored. Michigan Week since 1935 the annual game against Michigan has been the final meeting of the regular season for both teams. The week prior to the game, known as Michigan Week, is characterized by scheduled school spirit and public service events, such as rallies, touch football games, and blood drives. And by massive displays of school colors and banners in much of Ohio. In an unofficial culmination to Michigan Week, since 1990 on the Thursday night before the game students have participated in the Mirror Lake Jump, an unofficial gathering at Mirror Lake, a pond between Pomerine Hall and the Oval, in which masses of students jump into the water. Block O. Since 1938 the registered student organization Block O has been the official cheering section of the Buckeyes. Known for spreading spirit, starting cheers and performing card stunts, Block O was founded by Clancy Isaac. They occupy Section 39A in the South Grand Stand of Ohio Stadium, next to the band. Victory Bell, the Victory Bell is rung after every Ohio State victory by members of Alpha Phi Omega, a tradition that began after the Bucks beat California October 2, 1954. Reputedly the ringing can be heard five miles away on a calm day. Located 150 feet high in the southeast tower of Ohio Stadium, the bell was a gift of the classes of 1943, 1944 and 1945, and weighs 2,420 pounds. The bell is rung for 15 minutes following a victory and for 30 minutes following a victory over Michigan. Brutus Buckeye Beginning in 1965 Brutus Buckeye has appeared at all Ohio State football games as the live mascot of the Buckeyes. In 2007 he was inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame and is now one of the most recognized mascots in the United States. Hang on Sloopy, first played at the Illinois game of October 9, 1965. The rock song Hang on Sloopy is now played by the marching band before the start of the fourth quarter, with fans performing an OHIO chant in the intervals between the refrains. The song is also played to encourage the team's defensive players when opponents are moving the ball on offense late in a game. The 116th Ohio General Assembly designated Hang on Sloopy as the state rock song by Hus Concurrent Resolution 16 on November 20, 1985. It is also played before the fourth quarter at Cleveland Browns and Cincinnati Bengals games, as well as during Cleveland Indians, Cincinnati Reds, Cleveland Cavaliers and Columbus Blue Jackets games. Buckeye leaves, since 1967, the helmets of Ohio State players have been adorned with white decals approximately the size of a quarter depicting a Buckeye leaf, awarded for making significant plays and for consistency of performance. In the 1970s, the decals were approximately the size of a silver dollar until the 1979 season. Most believe that this practice began in 1968 when the Buckeyes switched to their present silver helmet design since the decals have become identified with that helmet. Mirror Lake, since 1990 as part of Michigan Week, OSU students typically jump into Mirror Lake, located on campus, the Thursday night before the game. 
the tradition is thought to bring good luck to the football team for the game. Since the 2010 season, the Thursday before the game has been Thanksgiving. With most of the student body leaving campus for the holiday, the jump has since occurred on the Tuesday of Michigan Week. Tunnel of Pride The Tunnel of Pride began with the 1994 Michigan game when all former players who were in attendance formed a tunnel through which the team ran to take the field, and Ohio State beat its rival that day, 22-06. Rex Kern, quarterback of the 1968 national championship team, and then director of athletics Andy Geiger together used the concept as a means of connecting current Buckeyes with those who played before them. The Tunnel of Pride was next formed for the 1995 Notre Dame game, which the Buckeyes also won. In each home game against Michigan since, the tradition has been repeated. Carmen, Ohio, instituted by Coach Tressel in 2001, at the conclusion of all home games the coaches, players and cheerleaders gather in the south end zone next to the marching band to sing the university's alma mater, Carmen, Ohio, to the student section. The Hive and pre-game circle, Tressel brought to the Buckeye football program two pre-game traditions he developed at Youngstown State. Prior to its warm-up routine before every football game, the team exits the locker room as a unit in a controlled manner, linked arm-in-arm in, arm in a group known as the Hive. After warm-ups the team returns to the locker room, and when it next appears, runs onto the field and forms a circle of players around the strength coach, then they go through their warm-up routine. Equals marching band equals. The marching band, often referred to as the best damn band in the land, or by the acronym TPBITAL is the most visible and possibly best known tradition of Ohio State football. Home games are preceded by three much anticipated traditions, and a fourth, dotting the I of script Ohio, enjoys a reputation all its own, Skull Session, Ramp and Trance, The Black Bend, Script Ohio. Rivalries while its rivalry with the University of Michigan is its most renowned and intense, Ohio State has two other series marked by their longevity, both Big Ten Conference rivals, those of Indiana and Illinois. The series versus Indiana began as a non-conference matchup, with Indiana going undefeated at 4 a Euro 0 a Euro 1. In conference, however, the Buckeyes are August 4, 70 through the 2014 season, the most wins against any opponent. Illinois also began with non-conference games but became the longest continuous series in 2002 when the schools played in their 89th consecutive year. Through 2014 Ohio State's record against the Illini is 66-30 a Euro 4. In 2007, Ohio State was given their only defeat of the regular season by the Illini. When Penn State was added to the conference football play in 1993, every member was given two designated rivals, Teams to be played every year, with the other conference teams rotated out of the schedule at regular intervals. For geographic convenience, the Big Ten named Penn State as Ohio State's new designated rival in addition to Michigan, and Illinois was set to be paired with in state rival Northwestern in neighboring Indiana, and in doing so undermined Ohio State's historical rivalry with Illinois. With Nebraska's entry to the Big Ten and the establishment of division play in football, Ohio State and Illinois played every season in the leaders' division from 2011 to 2013. Michigan was the Bukies' permanent cross-division rival from the Legends' division. With the addition of Maryland and Rutgers to the Big Ten, Ohio State and Illinois will be in separate divisions and will no longer meet every year. Ohio State and Michigan also became East Division rivals. Coaches the Buckeyes have had 24 head coaches in their 121-year history. Woody Hayes is the coach who has won the most national championships at five. Paul Brown, Jim Tressel, and Urban Mayer also each have won for eight total. Equals current coaching staff equals. Championships. Equals national championships equals. The following is a list of Ohio State's national championships as recognized by both the university and the NCAA. Equals undefeated seasons equals. Equals conference championships equals. Ohio State joined the Big Ten in 1913. Before that they were a member of the Ohio Athletic Conference and won two OAC titles. Ohio State has won a championship in the Big Ten 35 times, 
second most in the conference and third most conference titles of any school in any conference. Ohio State vacated 12 victories and their share of the Big Ten Championship from the 2010 season. A section of Euro Conference co-champions. All-time records. Equals results by year equals. Equals all-time bowl games equals, a Euro win vacated. Equals all-time Big Ten records equals, this table reflects the results of Big Ten matchups when both OSU and its opponent were members of the conference. Ohio State began Big Ten play in 1913. Examples of excluded results are Chicago after 1939, Michigan between 1907 a Euro 1916, Michigan State before 1953, Penn State before 1993, and Nebraska before 2011. Ohio State's vacated wins from 2010 are not included. Updated through October 5, 2015 of the 2015 NCAA Division IFBS football season. All data from College Football Data Warehouse. Individual awards and achievements. Through the 2006 season Ohio State players have by a significant margin won more trophies than any other NCAA Division I-A program. Ohio State players have won 34 of the listed major awards, with the next closest being 26. Ohio State is the only university to have received each of the awards at least once. Of the five awards created prior to 1980, Ohio State has received the most with 25. Equals retired numbers equals, number 10 and all future numbers are to be considered enshrined rather than retired, and will still be available to be worn. All previously retired jersey numbers will remain retired. Equals Heisman Trophy winners equals, Ohio State players have won the Heisman Trophy seven times, which ties Notre Dame for the most awards for any school. Archie Griffin is the only two-time recipient in the history of the award. Equals Lombardy Award equals, Ohio State players have won the Lombardy Award six times. Orlando Pace is the only two-time recipient in the history of the award. 1970, Jim Stillbergen, 1973, John Hicks, 1987, Chris Spielman, 1995, Orlando Pace, 1996, Orlando Pace, 2005, A.J. Hawk. Equals Maxwell Award equals, four Ohio State players have won the Maxwell Award, 1955 Howard Carl Sadie, 1961, Bob Ferguson, 1975, Archie Griffin, 1995, Eddie George. Equals Outland Trophy equals, four Ohio State players have won the Outland Trophy, 1956 Jim Parker, 1970, Jim Stillbergen, 1973, John Hicks. 1996, Orlando Pace. Equals Walter Camp Award equals, three Ohio State players have won the Walter Camp Award, 1974, 1975, Archie Griffin, 1995, Eddie George, 2006, Troy Smith. Equals Other awards equals, Eddie George received the Doak Walker Award in 1995, Terry Glenn received the Fred Bilt Nykoff Award in 1995, Andy Katzenmoyer received the Dick Butkus Award in 1997, Antoine Winfield received the Jim Thorpe Award in 1998, Le Charles Bentley received the Dave Rymington Trophy in 2001, B.J. Sander received the Ray Guy Award in 2003, Mike Nugent received the Lou Groza Award in 2004, James Laurinaitis received the Bronco Negerski Trophy in 2006, Troy Smith received the Davey O'Brien Award. In 2006, James Laurinaitis received the Dick Butkus Award in 2007, Malcolm Jenkins received the Jim Thorpe Award in 2008, James Laurinaitis received the Lott Trophy in 2008. Equals All-American and All-Conference Honors equals, through 2014 189 Buckeyes have been named First Team All-Americans since 1914. Of those, 79 have been consensus picks. 381 have been named to the All Big Ten team, and 15 have won the Chicago Tribune Silver Football, the Big Ten's Most Valuable Player Award, including Troy Smith for 2006. The athletic directors of the Big Ten Conference voted Eddie George Big Ten Jesse Owens Athlete of the Year for 1996. On November 22, 2006, 
Ten Buckeyes were named to either the coaches or conference media or Big Ten first team selections for the 2006 season, and seven were named to both. Troy Smith was named Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year. Four other Buckeyes received second team honors. Equals list of all Americans equals all records per OSU Athletics. 1910s, 1914, Boy Cherry, 1916, Sheik Harley, Robert Karch, 1917, Charles Bolin, Harold Courtney, Sheik Harley, Kelly Van Dyne, 1918, Clarence MacDonald, 1919, Sheik Harley, Gaylord Stinchcomb, 1920s, 1920, Iolas Huffman, Gaylord Stinchcomb, 1921, Iolas Huffman, Cyril Myers, 1923, Harry Workman, 1924, Harold Cunningham, 1925, Edwin Hess, 1926, Edwin Hess, Marty Caro, Leo Raskowski, 1927, Leo Raskowski, 1928, Wies Fessler, 1929, Wies Fessler, 1930s, 1930, Wies Fessler, Lou Hinchman, 1931, Carl Kramer, Lou Hinchman, 1932, Joseph Gylus, Sid Gilman, Lou Hinchman, Ted Rosequist, 1933, Joseph Gylus, 1934, Regis Menon, Mel Wendt, 1935, Gummer Jones, Mel Wendt, 1936, Charles Hamrick, Inwood Smith, Mel Wendt, 1937, Carl Kaplanoff, Jim McDonald, Ralph Wolf, Gus Zanas, 1939, Vic Marino, Esko Sarkinen, Don Scott. 1940s, 1940, Don Scott, 1942, Robert Shaw, Charles Gshery, Lynn Houston, Paul Saringos, Gene Fecht, 1943, Bill Willis, 1944, Jack Duggar, Bill Willis, William Hackett, Les Horvath, 1945, Warren Amling, Ollie Klein, Russell Thomas, 1946, Warren Amling, Cecil Suders. 1950s, 1950, Robert Momsen, Robert McMullough, Vic Janowicz, 1952, Mike Dukacs, 1954, Dean Duggar, Howard Carlsady, Jim Riechenbach, 1955, Jim Parker, Howard Carlsady, 1956, Jim Parker, 1957, Aurelius Thomas, 1958, Jim Houston, Jim Marshall, Bob White, 1959, Jim Houston. 1960s, 1960, Bob Ferguson. 1961, Bob Ferguson. 1964, Jim Davidson, Ike Kelly, Arnie Chunko. 1965, Doug Van Horn, Ike Kelly. 1966, Ray Pryor. 1968, Dave Foley, Rufus Mays. 1969, Jim Stillbargen, Rex Kern, Jim Otis, Ted Provost, Jack Tatum. 1970s, 1970, Jan White, Jim Stillbargen, John Brockington, Jack Tatum, Mike Sensible, Tim Anderson, 1971, Tom DeLeone, 1972, John Hicks, Randy Gray Dishar, 1973, John Hicks, Randy Gray Dishar, Van Decree, Archie Griffin, 1974, Van Ness Decree, Kurt Schumacher, Steve Myers, Pete Kusick, Archie Griffin, Neil Solzy, Tom Skladani, 1975, Ted Smith, Archie Griffin, Tim Fox, Tom Skladani, 1976, Bob Brodzinski, Chris Ward, Tom Skladani, 1977, Chris Ward, Aaron Brown, Tom Corzino, Ray Griffin, 1978, Tom Corzino, 1979, Ken Fritz, Archlichter, 1980s, 1982, Marcus Merck, 1984, Jim Lachey, Keith Piaz, 1985, Pepper Johnson, 1986, Chris Carter, Chris Spielman, 1987, Chris Spielman, Tom Tuper, 1988, Jeff Allenhake, 1990s, 1991, Steve Tovar, 1992, Steve Tovar, 1993, Corey Stringer, Dan Wilkinson, 1994, Corey Stringer, 1995, Eddie George, Terry Glenn, Orlando Pace, Mike Vrabel, 1996, 
Orlando Pace, Sean Springs, Mike Vrabel, 1997, Andy Katzenmoyer, Rob Murphy, Antoine Winfield, 1998, David Boston, Damon Moore, Rob Murphy, Antoine Winfield, 1999, Neil Diggs. 2000s, 2000, Mike Doss, 2001, Le Charles Bentley, Mike Doss, 2002, Mike Doss, Andy Groom, Mike Nugent, Matt Wilhelm, 2003, Will Allen, 2004, Mike Nugent, A.J. Hawk, 2005, A.J. Hawk, 2006, Troy Smith, James Laurinaitis, Quinn Pitcock, 2007, James Laurinaitis, Chris Wells, 2008, James Laurinaitis, Malcolm Jenkins, 2010s, 2012, Bradley Ruby, 2013, Ryan Shazier, Jack Mewalt, 2014, Joey Bosa. Equals team season MVPs equals. Equals all century team equals. Equals Paul Bear Bryant Award equals, 2002, Jim Tressel. Equals AFCA Coach of the Year equals, 1944, Carol Widows, 1957, Woody Hayes, 1979, Earl Bruce, 2002, Jim Tressel. Academic Awards and Achievements. Equals College Sports Information Directors of America Academic All America equals. Academic All-American Hall of Fame, 1992, Randy Gradishar. Academic All-American Player of the Year, 2003, Craig Krenzel. Academic All-Americans. Equals National Football Foundation and College Football Hall of Fame equals. William V. Campbell Trophy, 1995 Bobby Hoying, 2003 Craig Krenzel. National Scholar Athlete Awards. Ohio State's 18 NFF Scholar Athlete Awards rank second only to Nebraska's 20 among all college football programs. 1965 Willard Sander, 1968 David Foley, 1970 Rex Kern, 1973 Randy Gradishar, 1975 Brian Bashnagel, 1979 Jim Lochlin, 1982 Joe Smith, 1983 John Frank, 1984 Dave Cresselius. 1985 Mike Lanese, 1989 Joe Stasniak, 1990 Greg Frey, 1992 Greg Smith, 1994 Joey Galloway, 1995 Bobby Hoying, 1996 Greg Belisari, 1999 Ahmed Plummer. College Football Hall of Fame, beginning with Sheik Harley and Howard Jones in the 1951 inaugural class. Ohio State has had 30 former players and coaches inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Individual school records. Equals rushing records equals, most rushing attempts, career, 924, Archie Griffin, most rushing attempts, season, 336, Keith Biars, most rushing attempts, game, 44, Champ Henson, most rushing yards, career. 5,589, Archie Griffin, most rushing yards, season, 1,927, Eddie George, most rushing yards, game, 314, Eddie George, most rushing yards against Michigan, game, 226, Carlos Hyde, most rushing touchdowns, career, 56, Pete Johnson, most rushing touchdowns, season, 25, Pete Johnson, most rushing touchdowns, game, 5, Pete Johnson. And Keith Biars, longest run from scrimmage, 89 yards. Gene Fecht and Dan Boom Heron, most games with at least 100 rushing yards. Career, 34, Archie Griffin, most games with at least 100 rushing yards. Season, 12, Eddie George, most games with at least 200 rushing yards. Career, 5 Eddie George. Most games with at least 200 rushing yards, season, 3, Eddie George and Ezekiel Elliott. Equals passing records equals, most passing attempts, career, 934, Archlichter, most passing attempts, season, 384, Joe Germain, most passing attempts, game, 52, Archlichter, most passing completions, career, 498, Bobby Hoying, most passing completions, season, 230, Joe Germain, 
most passing completions, game, 31, Archlichter and Joe Germain, most passing yards, career, 7,547, Archlichter, most passing yards, season, 3,330, Joe Germain, most passing yards, game, 458, Archlichter, most passing touchdowns, career, 57, Bobby Hoying and Torrell Pryor, most passing touchdowns, season, 34, J.T. Barrett, most passing touchdowns, game, 6, Kenny Guyton J.T. Barrett, longest pass completion, 90 yards, Kenny Guyton to Devin Smith, longest interception return for touchdown 102 yards Matt and Ray, most games with at least 200 passing yards, career, 16, Bobby Hoying, most games with at least 200 passing yards, season, 11, Bobby Hoying and Joe Germain, most games with at least 300 passing yards, career, 8, Joe Germain, most games with at least 300 passing yards, season, 7, Joe Germain, equals receiving records equals, most receptions, career, 191, David Boston, most receptions, season, 85, David Boston, most receptions, game, 14, David Boston, most receiving yards, career, 2,898, Michael Jenkins, most receiving yards, season, 1,435, David Boston, most receiving yards, game, 253, Terry Glenn, most touchdown receptions, career, 34, David Boston, most touchdown receptions, season, 17, Terry Glenn, most touchdown receptions, game, 4, Bob Grimes and Terry Glenn and Dane Sansenbacher, longest pass reception, 90 yards, Devin Smith from Kenny Guyton, most games, with at least 100 receiving yards, career, 14, David Boston, most games with at least 100 receiving yards, season, 9, David Boston, yards per reception, 26.4, Jim Houston, equals kickoff return records equals, most kickoff returns, career, 72, Morris Hall, most kickoff returns, season, 31, Kenyon Rambo, most kickoff returns, game, 7, Vince Workman, most kickoff return yards, career, 1,642, Morris Hall, most kickoff return yards, season, 653, Kenyon Rambo, most kickoff return yards, game, 213, Carlos Snow, most kickoff return touchdowns, career, 2, Dean Sensanbafa, Lenny Willis, and Ted Ginn, Jr. Longest kickoff return, 103 yards, Dean Sensanbafa. Equals punt return records equals, most punt returns, career, 98, David Boston, most punt returns, season, 47, David Boston, most punt returns, game, 9, Tom Campana, most punt return yards, career, 959, David Boston, most punt return yards, season, 679, Niels Ozzy, most punt return yards, game, 170, Niels Ozzy, most punt return touchdowns, career, 6, Ted Ginn, Jr., longest punt return, 90 yards, Brian Hartline, equals kicking records equals, most kicking points, career, 356, Mike Nugent, most kicking points, season, 122, Devin Barkley, highest extra points percentage, career, 100%, Devin Barkley, most consecutive extra points made, career, 86, Tim Williams, highest field goal percentage, career, 81.8%, Mike Nugent, most consecutive field goals made, career, 24, Mike Nugent, longest field goal made, 59 yards, Tom Skladani, equals punting records equals, most punt yards, career, 9,927, Brent Bartholomew, most punt yards, season, 3,553, B.J. Sounder, most punt yards, game, 685, Vic Janowicz, highest average punt yards, career, 
Andy Groom, highest average punt yards, season, 47.1, Tom Tupa, longest punt, 87 yards, Carl Edwards. Buckeyes in the NFL. 27 former Ohio State players are currently active on rosters of National Football League teams. Former notable NFL players who played at Ohio State include, Luke Rosa, Dan Lavili, Jim Parker, Bill Willis, Paul Warfield, Jim Marshall, Jim Houston, Jack Tatum, Randy Gradishar, Dick Shafraff, Jim Lachey, Tom Tupa, Chris Spielman, Robert Smith, Corey Stringer, Raymond Harris, Chris Carter, and Eddie George. Carter, Groza, Lavili, Parker, Warfield, and Willis have been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Equals Pro Football Hall of Fame equals, beginning with Paul Brown in 1967, Ohio State has had nine former players or coaches enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame tied for third most, only behind Notre Dame and USC. 1967 Paul Brown, 1973 Jim Parker, 1974 Lou Groza, 1975 Dante Lavili, 1977 Bill Willis, 1983 Sid Gilman, 1983 Paul Warfield, 2010 Dick LeBeau, 2013 Chris Carter. Media, the Buckeyes are covered on the radio by the Ohio State IMG Sports Network. WBNS Columbus and sister station WBNS FM Columbus serve as flagship stations, with more than 60 affiliates in Ohio, and two additional affiliates in West Virginia. Paul Keels is the current play by play announcer, while former Buckeye left guard Jim Lachey serves as color analyst. They are joined by sideline reporter Marty Bannister and Skip Mossick, host of the network pregame and halftime shows. WBNS TV in Columbus is the long standing official TV home of the Buckeyes, airing the official coaches show Game Time with Urban Mayer. In addition, Ohio State football games are broadcast by their student radio organization, Scarlet and Gray Sports Radio on OhioStateSports.net. Future non conference opponents Starting in 2016, the Big Ten Conference will play a nine game conference schedule. Fan base In 2011, New York Times reporter Nate Silver conducted a study of college football fans, and through his research determined that Ohio State has the most fans of any college football team in the country. References Further reading Jack Park. The official Ohio State Football Encyclopedia. Sports Publishing LLC. ISBN 1-58261-006-1. Jim Tressel. Jeff Snook, ed. What It Means to Be a Buckeye. Triumph Books. ISBN 1-57243-602-6. Greenberg, S. Raterman, D. I Remember Woody. Triumph Books. ISBN 1-57243-674-3. Robert Bear. Buckeye, A Study of Coach Woody Hayes and the Ohio State Football Machine. Harper's Magazine Press. ISBN 0-06-129150-1. External links, Official Website, Radio Network.